center field. It's gone. Oh, she got it! Oh. Looking for a shot, gonna take it, and Nelson can hang on to it, and there's a goal. All right, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the season home opener here for the Lady Bears. Tonight they take on Fremont. The Silver Wolves are a 6A school just getting their season underway, playing their first game two days ago in a loss against Maple Mountain, three sets to none. Bear River has been at it for a couple weeks now with a 1-2 and two record, getting the win against American Leadership Academy, but then dropping the next two matches to Hurricane and last Tuesday to Box Elder. As always, we're joined with past Lady Bear. Once, you, once you're a Lady Bear, you're always a Lady Bear, right? I was just gonna say that. We got Amy Gibbs. That's right, yeah. Blood's red forever and ever. So yes, once a bear, always a bear. And happy to be here. So this will be fun to see. I don't know that we've played Fremont very frequently in volleyball, so this will be fun to see how they match up. Yeah, no, not not so much in volleyball, but yeah. Yeah, we've seen them in softball. I know of. I'm not sure about the other sports, but yeah, volleyball I don't think we play them too often, so this will be fun. All right, well, we will step aside here for the national anthem and starting lineups. The National Anthem and the Liberty Moment brought to you by Wessel Liberty Foods. They're looking to hire all three shifts. Come be a part of the leading co-packer, private label manufacturer, and food service supplier of Slice Deli Meats there at West Liberty Foods. You're ready to drop the flag here at Memorial Gymnasium. And again, we'll step aside for that.
Number 14, Olivia Cap. Number 16, Kensington Family. Number 21, Adley Mitchell. Number 23, my niece, Sadie Heslop. Number 32, Maya Jensen. The Silver Rolls are coached by Anna Mailato. And now, stand up for your Bear River Bears! She did so well, the Lord Leader is jealous. Number two, Journey Kinker. Sorry, Princess, but no one can get through this ball. Hitting right side, Lexi Reese. You shall not pass. Stopping up the middle, Carly Christensen, number six. Bringing the heat, number seven, Avery Cazell. Confusing the opponents with sneaky setting. Number 13, Paisley Marco. General on the court, setter number 15, Jocelyn McDougall. <laughs> Nothing gets through the wall, middle blocker, the Lady Mallory. <laughs> Here comes the boom, hit the outside. Number 22, Sadie Adler. <laughs> Again, I'd like to thank you for your support by hopping on and watching, and our sponsors as well. We were thanking them throughout the broadcast. So again, Fremont coming to this one off a loss against Mountain View. Lady Bears coming off a loss against Box Elder. And in the win against American leadership, that was three sets to nothing. And then we lose to Hurricane, three sets to nothing. Lose to Box Elder, three sets to nothing. Mm. Farmington loses to Maple Mountain by... Three sets to nothing. Three sets to nothing. Yeah, so both teams, Fremont and the Bears, looking to win at least <laughs> a couple sets. I'm sure both want to sweep, but I'm sure this will be a nice game. So Fremont carrying four seniors, uh, but a whole bunch of juniors. So a lot of experience on their side. Bears also with five, nope, six seniors. So a lot of experience as well on their side. Still checking lineups. Making sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. Agley checking in. And we mentioned it's the home opener, and that's depending on the home turf. Here by Chenshire Sod Farms. We'll get your water wise grass or Chenshire, or some watering tips to keep you along looking good. Right. And also number 14, Olivia Cap checking in for Fremont. And Fremont's going to start with the surf. That one underway. Nice pass coming from the Bears. They'll go to the middle to Christensen. Nice tough one through the block. And free ball, short free ball sent over. A nice dump. That's number 13, Paisley Barfus. Tight to the net right there. 
Fremont had pulled their coverage over. She did a nice little back set up and over. And Bears are on the board. So now number 15, Jocelyn McDougall, senior for the Bears, with her first serve. Nice pass by Fremont. Pushing to the outside. And untouched. Nice hard hit by Fremont. So Fremont answers right back, ties this one up a one. Right, looks like number 16, Kim, Kim Simpson Bradley. Fremont again with the serve. And back row hit. So nice play by Agley. Pulls Lady Bears back up, two to one. And Sadie Adams will step back into the serving area. Nice pass by Fremont up to the net. Ooh. And once again, a nice quick set to middle blocker and it goes down. With Maya Jensen knocking that one in for the Silver Wolves. Or a kill. Yes. Cat back now to serve. And into the net. So a lot of back and forth. Eggly, she's going to serve for the Bears. Nice hit, nice pass. Out of play. Reese trying to get under that, not able to get it back on the court. That'll tie it back up. Fremont with the serve. Nice up, going to the outside. Tip, good block by Fremont. Able to get it over. Again to the middle. Nice up by the Bears. Back and forth. Ooh, nice dump by Fremont. Excellent pancake. Bears get that up. This one also tight to the net, and Bears win that. So great job. A lot of back and forth. Bears sporting a pancake pretty early in the game. So they'll earn that point. That was McDougal with the pancakes for the Bears. Kaepner with the serve. Oh, went into the net. Giving it back over here to Fremont. Ties it up at four. Substitution coming in for the Silver Wolves. Offside hit, sent over by the Bears. Fremont coming back with right down the line, and that looks like number 23, Sadie Heslop. So uncontested, nice spot right there. Puts the Fremont back up by one. Good serve from Fremont. Back row hit. Tight to the net, dumped over. Oh, everybody moving back in their hitting positions and setter not be able to not able to get over there. So Fremont with a two point lead. Bears keeping alive. Free ball sent over. Fremont going to the middle. Good up by the Bears. Out and lands on the Bears side. So Fremont doing a good job with some pressure there. Biggest lead for any team, up by three in the first set. Fremont with another nice serve. Back row hit again coming from Journey and it goes deep. Oh. 
And timeout going to be taken here by the Lady Bears. Only trailing by four here in the first set. We'll step aside, thank some of our sponsors, and we'll bring it right back here to Memorial Gymnasium. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back here to Memorial Gymnasium, Air Bear River High School. Still in the first set. Tremont Silver Wolves in the lead, eight to four. Yeah, they kind of got on a roll right there. Brown taking the timeout, hoping to upset that a bit. Bears going to the back. Good block by Fremont. Shooting for that back corner. Fremont with the outside. And lands in Bear territory. It looks like it came from number two, Olivia Langston. Senior for Fremont. Good pass by Kapner. Ooh. Misjudging that one gives a point. Another one here to the Silver Wolves. Right, she was coming in and set just a little too high for her. Fremont still with the serve. Good hit by the Bears. Fremont pushes it to the outside. Nice block, but falls on bear side. So front row, we have Gazelle, Mallory. Nice back row hit by Adams. And also Barbas front row. So Bears getting the ball back. Avery Cazell, senior, back in the service area. Avery, all kinds of healthy this year. Nice pass by Fremont. Good up by Agley. Again to the middle for Fremont. Good read on the floor. She's looking for that corner, goes a little bit wide. So Bears will get that point, trying to make their way back. Good serve by the Bears. Off the net. And again, falls in Fremont territory. So good serving by Cazell. Bears within four. Ooh, and into the net. So it says Avery's coming into this game with 13 kills. Is that from the last game or overall? Overall. So Bears trailing by five. Fremont with a serve. Nice read by Kapner. This one goes long. Bears trailing, 8 to 12. Delaney Mallory in the service area. Tips the net. Drops right in front of Fremont. Those are so tough. Hits the net, changes speed. It's hard to read. This one really tight to the net. What a good read. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do with that one, so you kind of have to anticipate that's coming. A great placement by the by Fremont. Yeah, Haley Mitchell putting that one across the net here for the Silver Wolves, getting the ball back. 13-9 lead. Higley with the pass. Again, this one going long. So Carly Christensen, she's a senior. 
she's in the middle slot. Christensen, Adams, and Paisley Barfus setting, playing front row. Exclamation point on that kill here from Fremont. Yes. Everybody that plays the net is waiting for that overpass. And Bears just a little bit too far over the net, and they just took it home. So Bears trail by six now. Fremont in the lead, 15-9. It's going to the outside to Adams. She makes her way in there. Fremont gets it up, passes it over. Again, goes to the middle of Christensen, and she gets it through the blockers. So a nice push. Gets the bear back within five. And we got Lexi checking in for front row, Lexi Reese and McDougal in for the surf. Quick to the outside and goes down the line. That is great placement where generally in that rotation, there's just a, uh, your defender is more in the middle back. Everyone else is a little bit up. So a great spot for Fremont. City Parish checks in for the Silver Wolves. And into the net. If you're in need of any screen printing or embroidery design, cover up's got you covered in two locations, both on Main Street in Tremont and Brigham City. Sadie Ooh. with a nice serve and the ace. Sadie Adams. She's a senior coming into this game with 15 kills. To the middle. Agley gets it up. Back row hit coming from Adams. Fremont goes to the outside, tipping the blockers. And they say no pancake. Right, good effort right there, but that did hit the floor. So number 14, Libero Olivia Cap serving for Fremont. Ooh, and that shoots into the net. Looked like it was going to go over there for a minute. And died. The substitution here for Fremont. Right, well, kind of shot it on the opposite side of where the players are, too, so that's kind of a hard one to dig when everybody's on the right side. True. So Fremont with six-point lead. Lady Bears is not able to get this one over. Nineteen to twelve here for Fremont. Still in the first set. I like think KSL Sports. You could be watching this on the KSL Sports app. This one sent back over. Another good placement here by Fremont. Excellent placement. Bears were getting down in coverage. Saw the open spot over here on the left side of the court and was able to put it right there. And then again with another point here for Fremont. Extends a lead 20 to 12. Right, probably the biggest lead, yep. And this one goes deep. So the Bears catch a break on that one. Delaney Mallory checking back in for the Bears. And Brooke Agley back to serve. That lands out. Ooh, that's a close one. 21-13 lead. Right, and so uh -oh, the... Oh, they reverse it. Right, the umpire up on the stand here overruled him. So now a 14-20 lead. Make it 15-20. All right, that's ace in the books for Igley. So Bears within five.
And this one is out. Trying to push it out there to the far side. It goes out. Right, trying to mix it up. It just goes a little wide. Fremont with a serve. And Adams sends it back. Hitting for the back corner. Outside hit coming from Fremont. Ferris push it also to the outside. Just looking for the middle of the court. And great play by Fremont's stutter. A little jump twist right there. Catching them, catching them off guard. That's exactly what I was going to say. Trying to catch them off guard, and she does. So 22-15. And to the net. 16. The Lady Bears 22 for Fremont. Okay, we're getting ready to check back in here for Bear River. Journey, number two, senior. Put up by Fremont. Ooh, nice solid outside hit that goes long. 22-17, Bear's still in it. Kazell checking back in the front row. Kapner again with the serve. Fremont keeps it alive. Sends a short free ball over. It was close to the line. Kapner went for it as she should, just wasn't able to get it up. So 23-17. And coming in is number two, Olivia Langston, senior for Fremont, who puts it in the net. Twenty-three, eighteen now. Gazelle back to serve here for Lady Bears. Good pass by Fremont. Quick to the middle, through the blockers, and falls in Bear territory. So game points. And I believe this is number nine, Sophie Funk, also a senior. Good up by the Bears. Push to the outside. Great block by Fremont. Bears send it back over. And a nice hit again coming down the line. And there you have it. The Fremont. Are these Silver Wolves? Silver Wolves from Fremont. Silver Wolves take the first set. I'm going to take set number one. Here's your CNR replay ending the first set. Send up the kill. Then this one, we will step aside and thanks to more of our sponsors bring you back with set number two. Don't go anywhere. Did you know Kent's Market has an app? And it's free! Just go to your app store and type in Kent's Market and it'll come right up. Downloading the Kent's Market app gives you access to digital coupons, weekly deals, and access to your Kent's Kickback account. As you can see, the app is easy to use and can help you save. Download it now and get exploring! We'll see you soon at 10.
Find your next career at West Liberty Foods. Visit careers.wlfoods.com. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Getting ready for set number two. That one went to the Fremont Silver Wolves. It's almost 7 o'clock. we got Lady Bear Soccer kicking off. They're playing west outside. I don't know what's hotter, in here or out there. <laughs> oh, I'd almost say in here. At least you got a breeze outside. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty stagnant in here. Nostalgic of an old gymnasium, but no AC. Yeah, darn it. Lineups are approved. Bears are going to start off with the serve today. So starting for set number two is number 15, Jocelyn McDougall. Senior setter back in the service area. And great job by the Bears. First to score in the set as well. McDougal again. Fremont gets it up. A tip. Pancake. Oh. Oh. That was a nice effort. Again, Kazell down, getting that pancake up. But as she <laughs> as she dove for that, she kind of got in the way of everybody to come get that. So good effort. Bears weren't able to retrieve that. So one to one. And Fremont with the serve. This will be a short one. Bears get it up, push it outside to Reese. Hits the antenna, which is out of bounds. So Fremont with one point lead. Almost seven o'clock, almost dinner time. You get yours there at the grill. Even squeeze in a game of bowling. <laughs> this is number 21, Atlee Mitchell, junior from Fremont. Keeps it on the offside for Adams to hit. Good block by Fremont. Bears trying to get that free ball over, sends it out of bounds. Fremont going down the line on this serve. Back row hits. That's coming from Avery Cazell. Ends up in the net. So Fremont with the three-point lead. Just a short serve up and over. Lexi Reese. Nice sharp angle right there. Good spot for Reese to get the Bears back into this one. Four to two lead here by Fremont. All right, just below that 10 foot line, able to get the Bears back on back on track. Senior Sadie Adams in the service area, tipping the net. Pushing it to the outside. Great job blocking by the Bears. Short one going over. Good transition. McDougal trying to keep it to the middle. Christensen making a play. Cross court hit. Ooh, the pass is up, but out of bounds. So good effort by Adams. Possession going back over to the Silver Wolves with the lead five to two here in set number two. Number 23, Sadie Heslop. Senior at Fremont with the serve. Back row hit coming from Adams. She puts it in the middle. Outside hit off the blockers. Ooh. In the hole. Right in the middle of the court. Wasn't that the campfire? In the campfire. So it's the campfire. That's for the girls a couple years ago. That was their term. Oh, 
Another serve coming here from Fremont. Six to two lead into the net. So Heslop not able to get it over this time. JC's Diner. JC's Diner is under new management. Ownership, actually. I saw your interview with the owners. How yeah. exciting. Had them on the talk of the town. Egley with the serve. And Fremont coming back hot. Right side hit, top of the net, falling in front of Bears defenders. Fremont with the serve. Short one coming over. Oh, coming back to the Bears. Kazell's hit goes long. Right, she wants to put that one down, just not able to get on top of it, it goes long. So five point lead from Fremont. And Fremont puts it into the net. Hey, there's something for everybody at their Tanglewood Studios. Mommy Me classes, preschool, dancing, karate, singing, gymnastics, parkour, you name it. They probably got it out there at Tanglewood Studios. Senior Journey Kapner. Fremont with the back row hit. And pass, free ball coming over from the Bears. Down the line hit, Bears able to put that up. Another down the line hit come from the Bears. Goes to the outside and she goes long. Fremont had an answer for almost everything the Bears Got Adam, but. Right, Sadie Parrish, number four on that outside right there. Had a good opportunity, just went a little bit too far. Journey Kapner again with the serve. Outside, great blocking by the Bears. Free ball sent over. Going to the middle. Out to the outside to Cazell. She goes that? down the line and outstanding. Great ball movement. Outstanding, right. Fremont is planted on the line, waiting for that down the line hit. And she just pulls it just a little bit towards the middle, able to find that hole. So Bears within two. Kapner again with the serve. That looked close. Again, close. And the refs are going to go with our flag person so Fremont will get the points and the serve Ooh, ace coming from silver wolves that's number 16 Kensington Bandley a junior serving for Fremont Bears get this one up. Off the net hit. Fremont goes to the outside and drills it down the line. And that again is number four, Sadie Parrish. She just gets a hold of that. And that one goes wide. So Kapner does a good job following the ball, sees it's going to go out of bounds, and lets it go. Avery Cazell now to serve here for Bear River. Free ball coming over from Fremont. Great play by the Bears. Good up by Fremont. And this one falls into the net. So Parrish tries to do what she's done several times tonight, not able to get it across. Bears doing a good job in their blocking as well. Cazell, this one tight to the net. Fremont keeps it on their side. Great effort by the middle. Number nine, Sophie Funk. Coming in there, just not able to quite get it across. 
Sell again with a serve. Goes on Bear's side. Great blocking from Fremont. Sadie going to hit it again. Look at the soft touch. Yeah. That's like the changeup, right? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't going to be a – she wasn't going to tip it or dump it. Just a nice soft hit. Nobody was ready for that. Brings the Lady Bears within one here in set number two. Cazelle again with the serve. And that goes into the bleachers. So great serving by Avery, tying up the score. Fremont sends it back over. Tight. Bears keep it on their side. But unfortunately, Paisley got a shoulder into the net. So nice effort, a great idea. Just got to stay out of the net. Easier said than done when they're tight like that. So good effort. Fremont with the serve, great pass. Pushing it outside to Adams. Fremont gets it up. Oh, solo block from Adams. Great read. She's able to just send it right back. And ties again, it it's ties it up, 12-12. Outside for Fremont, gets past the blockers. Oh, Another the Bears one. are in the net. Again, they call in the net here for Bear River, or against them, yes. I should say. Unfortunately, I think they've been so much more focused this set. You hate to kind of see those mental errors. Hopefully they can brush it off and keep going. And that one goes long. That comes from Libero, number 14, Olivia Cap. So back and forth we go. Still tied at 13 here in set number two. Right, this is a fun set to watch. They're trying to get the set back that they lost in the first. And McDougal back in for the serve. Good up by Fremont. Go to the outside, and again, the Bears blocking up front. Nice off-speed hit. Ooh. Oh, and they called it out of bounds. Another close one. I think they reversed the call. I think it was in. Oh, they say a touch. A touch, yes. I would love to see that. Re are we doing a replay We're today? doing a replay today. There's your CNR replay, a little back and forth. Right. There's the setup. Can we see where that is? And then, yeah, that looked good to me. All right, McDougal again with a serve tight to the net. Oh, a one-on-one -on -one right there, and Fremont comes out on top. That's number 21, Atley Mitchell. So 14-14. Mitchell goes back to serve here for the Silver Wolves. Tips the net, the Bears are able to get it up. Adams coming in, making a clutch hit right there. She did a great job just taking off a little bit on that one, making sure it stays in the court. You know, you get your adrenaline pumping and you can see that open space. I know she just wants to send it a million miles an hour, but she did the smart thing. Over and out of bounds. Eddie Bears now taking a two point lead here in set number two. Right, they're just looking so much more focused. The blocking on point for this set. I hope they can finish it up, get the win. Outside hit coming from Fremont. Igley hoping it was out, but it still found the line. So Fremont still in it. Number 23, Sadie Heslop in the service area for Fremont. Good up by Eggley. Going to the outside. Great block. Bears able to get it up, send it back over. Fremont going to the right side, and that one is wide. How about that recovery by Avery? After the block and right back underneath it. That is excellent coverage. It's one thing to touch it, but to get it up to make it playable, great job. That's outstanding. 
Egli, the libero, back to serve. And she shoots it to the back wall. And Fremont serving it out of bounds. On an air, another two point lead here for the Lady Bears. I know it's early in the season, but it seems like there's a lot of service errors. Yeah, like I said, Fremont, this is their second game of the season. Mm, so it is still but very yeah, early for yeah, them. Yeah, Lady yeah. Bears have a little bit of an advantage there. Good serve coming from Kaitner. Kind of shooting it across. <laughs> the middle. What number is that? Is that eight? Number nine, Sophie number Funk. Nine. Yeah, I think she was expecting a different set, made a great adjustment, was able to make the point. Fremont still trailing by one. Ooh, and puts that one in the net. Yeah, your serve errors are keeping Lady Bears in this one, 19 to 17. Starting to wind down here in set number two. Cazelle shooting it across, tight to the net. Fremont keeps it on their side. Sends free ball over. Sadie sneaking around to the right side. Tight. Bears win that little standoff. And a great hit coming from the right side. I think that's number four, Sadie Parrish. Gets it on a touch. Right, the blockers get it and it lands in the court anyway, but. Strong hitter. So Bears still with a one point lead. Fremont with the serve. Cazelle with a good pass out to Adams. Gets on top of that and just puts it down. So beautiful hit by Adams. Good way to end the front row rotation. Now she'll head back to serve. Bears with a two point lead. Ooh, and puts it into the net. If you're looking to buy or sell, give Gary Manson a call. A call will banker to your realtor. They got a team of realtors willing to help you get into the home of your dreams. Number 14, the libero, Olivia Cap, Junior for Fremont with the serve. Paisley trying to mix it up a little. Fremont coming back with a sharp cross-court hit. There might have been a net violation as there as well, but great hit for Fremont nonetheless. Tying this one back up at 20. Yeah, running out of chances right here. Cap again with the serve, putting it in the net. That's when the airs play a bigger factor now. <laughs> well, this is why game experience is so important. She probably never misses the serve in practice, but when your adrenaline gets going, you're nearing the end of a set, it's a tight game. Um, that's when that's when you really gotta hone in on those. McDougal with the serve. And again, Fremont sending it across cross court. Man, they've got that one down. Yeah. They, they know exactly where that spot is. That's number twenty three, Sadie Heslop. Yeah, great adjustments. It's hard to get a perfect pass to get a perfect Set, and these ladies are making great adjustments to get that good hit. So 21-21. That one sails out of bounds. Bears tracking it all the way. I might have seen her hold her breath for a second. Not <laughs> sure on that one because, again, very close. And Sadie Adams again serving. Oh, oh. Lady Bears unable to save this one. Right. That change of speed coming over was really hard. And that's kind of what we talked about before. They were able to touch it, just not to pop it up to make it playable. So 22-22, again, Fremont with the serve. Good up by Agley. Go to outside. Tip. They keep it on the right side. She's looking for the back corner. Bears are ready for it. Oh, 
Not quite getting that one up and over the net. Now a lead here for the Silver Wolves, 23-22. Yes, they stepped back to Reese and just couldn't quite make that play happen. And gosh, is this the first, first time, time out, out for set number two? Yeah, and is in the crunch time part. It's 23-22. We'll step aside and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Dr. Todd Miller has expanded his team of medical professionals. Medical assistants, nurse practitioners, and estheticians at Miller Medical are ready to care for their clients with full services for family medical, pediatrics, beauty, and health. They also specialize in weight loss and hormone therapy. Miller Medical is now offering beauty and spa health treatments, as well as Botox. Most insurances are accepted, but a cash price discount is available. Let Miller Medical take care of all your health care needs. Welcome back here to Bear High School Memorial Gymnasium. A close set number two. Fremont in the lead, 23-22. Right, it's been close the whole time. Fremont with the serve. Back row hit coming from Adams. Just kind of faces the bleachers a little too much. And that goes out of bounds. So game point right here, set point 24-22. Fremont's able to make the serve. Ooh. And Bears, unfortunately, can't hang on, so lose that set 25-22. He's on the wrong side of the antenna on the serve receive. We'll watch it one more time here on the CNR replay. Again, I'd like to thank them for being your replay sponsor all season long. Close one, Lady Bears. After battle bag now here in set number three. Fremont takes 2-0. We'll be right back. The grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has something for everyone. Great Basin Industrial has been building America with epic safety and quality since 2007, specializing in steel fabrication, machining, and paint. GBI engineers, ships, installs, and repairs a wide range of products. They design and build all steel and alloy work according to the highest industry standards. Let GBI help you get your project completed on time and on budget. If you're looking for work, join GBI's team for a great work environment, competitive pay, and benefits. Whether you are buying or selling, you need to know you have someone in your corner who can help you get through that process. The Realtors at Coldwell Banker are there to help you get into your home, whether it's a starter or your forever. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Let Trudy Hatch and Shannon Johnson help you get into the home of your dreams. They're your local experts for all your mortgage needs. Give them a call today. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. JC's Country Diner is under new local management, but has the same great country charm so you can savor the flavor. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. The Fremont Silver Wolves taking two sets to none. And they will have the first serve. Here in set number three. Bears able to get it up. Back row hit coming from Kaepner. Close, and everybody agrees that one is in. So Bears, again, they've had the first point for every set and continues on. 
Trudy Hatch and friends, their Academy Mortgage, help you out with a refinance or mortgage. This is number 15, senior Jocelyn McDougall. Unfortunately, her serve goes wide and ties it up 1-1. For Fremont, we have number 23, Sadie Heslop. Sayers with a good up. They'll keep it on Sadie's side, block. She's gonna go hit again. This one is, oh, off Fremont and out of bounds. So good recovery by the Bears, able to score that point. JV game before this one went into four sets. Did they? How exciting. Ooh, Sadie puts it into the net. Fremont's happy about that. Set number two was tight the whole time. A lot of back and forth. Looks like set three starting out that same way. Now we have number 14. Junior libero, Olivia Cap. Good up by Agley. Outside, great recovery. Fremont also going to the outside, a good, getting block, good blocking. Head to the right side, a partial block. So off the block and out of bounds. Point going here to the Silver Wolves. So Christensen and Reese, great blocking team down there. Forcing Fremont to head to the other side. Cap puts that one into the net. And back and forth we go, tied again here at three. Right, so after that big play that they score on, put it into the net and tied it back up. Number 24, Junior, Brooke Agley. Oh, looks like her throw was a little bit off on that. That one goes into the net. Agley returns the favor. Don't forget we got football coming up tomorrow night. Bear River travels to the uh, Morgan Trojans. I have that one for you. Looks like we have number 27, Jessica Broadbent, coming in for Fremont. Ooh, and a wall put up by the Silver Wolves. And that's number 21, Atlee Mitchell, with the block over there on the right side. So Broadbent again with the serve. Good up by Adams. Stays here on this side. Oh, Lexi, good recovery, able to shoot it across. Back row hit. Ooh, in the corner. Right. So that hit coming from number 23, Sadie Heslop. That's a great spot right there. So Fremont getting on a roll. Broadbent again with the serve. Back row hit coming from Adams. And a great solo block. There's Funk By number again. nine, Sophie Funk. Funk. Yeah, great blocking by both teams. That makes such a big difference. So Broadbent again with the serve. A free ball sent over by the Bears. Also looking for that deep corner goes a little too far. Out of bounds. Fremont pulling away now, eight to three here in set number three. Yes, everything going their way. Broadbent having a good streak here. Back to Reese. Pretty good hit, but Fremont was ready. Sends it straight down. The blocking team of number four, Sadie Parrish, number nine, Sophie Funk. Timeout taken here by Bear River, trying to regroup down 9-3 here in set number three. We'll step aside and we'll be right back. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. 
Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Again, 9-3, your score for Fremont in the lead in set number three. Oh, and a great timeout for the Bears. That's exactly what they want to happen. I lost track of how many serves Broadbent got. Right, she did a great job coming in there. So Bears will take that over. And we're back to number two, Journey Kapner. Good up by Fremont. Nice play. Bears able to get it up. Fremont will go to the middle. Oh, nice pancake. This one's got, oh, and they said no, no, no. Hmm, I would have given that to her. The judge says no, Kapner says yes, but one has a little bit more authority. Right, well I felt like it was, I don't think it was on her hand, I think it was upper arm farther, but either way, I didn't think it hit the floor. So good effort by Kapner. Fremont with the serve. And, Sadie hitting it back row. Going to the outside by Fremont. Again, that spot over there. Wow, that's tough to hit that sharp angle like that, and Fremont's doing it very well tonight. Putting a den in the floor over there, it's hit so hit. Right. Hit it in that same spot every time. Right, well I know my coach would say, make him hit it there, and these guys are, so. Oh. Net violation. Yeah, Sparf is doing a good job. Those tight ones to the net are, are tricky. And I think she's doing a good job, but unfortunately in the net on that one. 12 to four lead here for the Silver Wolves. Gonna change it up here on the Bears half, Bears side of the field. Gonna have Lexi Reese check back in. Free ball sent over by the Bears. And again, too far out of bounds. So 13-4. This is number two, Olivia Langston. Oh, good hustle. And good hit over. <laughs> we'll take it. It started out a little rough, but Bears able to make it work. I will tell you, it is hard to play against a team uh, when things unexpected come over. Oh, and Avery puts it into the net. I thought that was going to skip right over. I thought it was, too. I was waiting for something awesome right there. So 14-5. And we have number nine, Sophie Funk. Oh, she's trying to hit down the line, and she, too, goes a little bit wide. We have number 21, Delaney Mallory, back to serve, and unfortunately that goes into the net. Another air, right. gives it back over to the Silver Wolves, right. a 15-6 lead. I'm sad to see so many serving areas tonight, but again, it's early. Oh yeah, a whole lot of season to go. Put up by Fremont. Bears able to get it up. Back row hit coming from Reese. Ooh, looking to go down the line. That goes a little bit long. So again, we have number 19, Hannah Pravos. Pravos, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Apologize for that, Hannah. Senior at Fremont. Back row hit coming from the Bears. And that'll get a point. So like the Bears being aggressive out there. Gazelle heading to the back. 
McDougal checking back in to serve. On the right side tip, good effort. They give her that one, and Bear's able to make it across. Looking for that back corner and goes too wide. So Bears, pretty successful when they're scrappy out there tonight. Good at making something out of nothing. Right, a good job on coverage, and again, popping it up to make the ball playable, not just touching it. So McDougal again. Ooh, a quick one to the back side, and that was beautiful. That was number 23 swinging around there, Sadie Heslop. We've seen some good hitting from her tonight. She'll go back and serve now here for the Silver Wolves. Right, after making that nice play, go back and have a short serve. Sadie just up and over the blockers. Again to the outside. And I think that's number four again. Sadie Parrish just going down the line. That's great ball control going down the line. Also, usually the blockers aren't there to mess with you too much. You just have to make sure that you keep it in, and she's done a great job with that today. Ten-point lead, as we like to thank Kent's Market, being a great sponsor for Bear River Live and Bear River Athletics. Hessel up again with the serve, and she goes too deep. So 18-8. Bears trying to fight their way back. Senior Sadie Adams. Good up by Fremont. The quick to the middle. And very well executed. Is That's that number 32, Maya Jensen. Again, back into the corner. Yeah, Maya just a sophomore. Played a lot today, making a lot of great plays. Now we have Libero, number 14, Olivia Cap. Good pass. Bears go to the middle with Christensen. Muscles it across, pushing against the blocker. Making a fall on Fremont side, well played. Now we're back to number 24, Libero, Brooke Agley. Another one she wants back as it goes into the net. This is Broadbent back here for the Silver Wolves. Started off the set on a good run. Right, Fremont's very to ha happy to have her in that slot. Bears go to the outside, good blocking by Fremont. Back row hit coming from Adams. And again, solo block, number nine, Sophia Funk. Great read, great read. Up there by herself, able to get a hand on it. So 21-10. Again, Broadbent with the serve. Good hit by Reese. Fremont going to the outside. Good blocking. Bears keep it alive. Send it back over. Is they out? Oh, again, Ooh. really close. Yeah, I was kind of holding my breath, seeing what was going to happen there. I didn't look at the line judge. I just looked at the umpire on the on the ladder he looked at him and he was looking at the line judge yeah when that happens so fast sometimes it's just hard to tell journey capner with the surf going cross court back row hit bears get it up and again wrong side of antenna Chris do best hardware has been serving the community since 1976 Tom and his team doing a good job there. Rears do it best hardware. See? And number two, Olivia Langston with Fremont serve. Barfus going back to Cazell, up and over the blockers. Great play. Ooh, a quick one to the middle. And Fremont wins that. Oh, they called her over the net. Over the net. Yes. Said she didn't wait for her to get it on her side. So she must have interfered with it. Bears stay in at 12-22. As Avery Cazell. 
outside for Fremont. Ooh, can't quite get it there. But a good effort by Heslop. The Bears trying to make a late run here in set number three. Cassell with a pretty serve. Again, going outside for Fremont. Good coverage. Going back. Oh, great play by number 21, Delaney Mallory. She just kind of sneaking around on the back side of the setter. Well played. Christensen back in front row. Or not. For a brief moment. <laughs> oh, can't quite, can't quite get that in the court. Nice idea. 23 to 14 here for the Silver Wolves. Right, no more, no more errors for the Bears. This is Funk here for the serve. Going long. <laughs> Avery going after it, deciding to let it go. Trying to suck At the it in last right second. there. <laughs> yeah, follow it, follow it, and then just try to get out of the way. That's kind of tough. Tight one up to the net. Another one goes long. They're saying no touch. So that goes out of bounds. And that was number 32, Maya Jensen with the hit. So again, Delaney Mallory with the serve. Kind of a short hit from Fremont. Bears get it up. Oh, not can't quite get it over. Up but not over. And now a 24-16 lead here for the Silver Wolves. It will be a game point here for Fremont. Number 19, Hannah Pravos. Pravos, senior for Fremont. We saw her earlier doing a good job. Oh, trying to sneak it down the line, but uh, for, luckily for the Bears, goes wide. Jinx around that one, now 24-17. Rally scoring. Like you said, no more errors here for the Lady Bears. Right, we gotta see McDougal Serve to the end. <laughs> this is a, this is, needs to be a perfect game from here on out. Yes. So far, so good. Oh, miscommunication right there. That's a start, 24-18 now. Right. Well, you have your outside hitter right there. I'm sure she was expecting someone else to make that pass. Like Dougal saw some varsity time last year. Good effort by Fremont. Oh, I wasn't sure who, what hit the net, but it must have been the ball. So good effort by Adams, but the Lady Bears fall to Fremont. One more look at this, see if you can see. Get into the net. Right, I was hoping maybe it was the blocker, but it was the Bears. So stick around, we'll get a post-game interview here with Coach Brown. Get a wrap up on this one here before we take off. And so stick around, a little bit more for you here at Bear River High School. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>
Welcome back here to Barber High School. Again, your final on this one, three sets to nothing. Again, it's just sweeps. You're either winning in a sweep or you're losing in a sweep. Oh, well, like we said a few times early, it is early on in the season. Good. I thought the Bears looked so much better in the second set. I thought they looked focused. Um, it was relatively close. I think 17, 22, and then 18 is what they lost by. So, But, man, I, I thought they there's some things they did really well. Uh, the blocking. I love to see the front row do that. The better hitters, the better blocking, that changes the game. So I thought they also did a really good job on their ball placements with their tipping and their hitting, you know, seeing what's available on the floor and able to get the ball there. I thought they did a really good job with that. And kudos to our pancakes out there. Yeah, I mean, they hit them. Yeah. That's, that's harder than it looks, but that's great effort. Hit the floor. I like to see some diving. I like to see some effort. Um, and they're doing a good job. And as we said earlier, popped it up, able to make it playable, not just touching the ball. So really good job on those, on those points. Again, Fremont, 6A school out of Region 1. You know, they got a tough road ahead of them, so wish them good luck throughout the season. They get it, they pick up their first win, so now one on one on the season for them. Lady Bears fall to one and three. Here in this one. But hey, we'd like to thank all these sponsors right here. Bringing you the most fall sports coverage. Again, we'll be having football tomorrow night. Traveling to Morgan, trying to keep the Win streak alive after a good win against Cedar Valley. Knocked him out of the top 25 spot. Right, that was an exciting game. A lot of a lot of fun things happened there. Yeah, again, we like to thank Caldwell Banker and Cover Up, Greer's Do Best Hardware, The Grill, Lincoln Financial, Rudd Funeral Homes, Dr. Todd Miller with Miller Medical. I like to thank New Core Steel as well. New sponsor hopping on. I like to thank them for supporting your Lady Bears. JC's Country Diner, Great Basin Industrial, looking to hire welders, fitters, fabricators. Frank May Skidoo, Chancellor Sod Farms, again, KSLSports.com. Thanklewood Studios, Lincoln Financial, Kent's Market, CNR for your replays, Academy Mortgage, getting your refinance, West Liberty Foods for your Liberty Moment. Careers do best hardware. Great support from the Valley, as usual. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us tonight again. Amy, thanks for your help. My pleasure. I can't wait till the next time. Next time will be, not next week, County Fair next week. And we know the world shuts down for Box Elder County Fair. At least the county does. Yes. I'm a fan, though. I'll be there. You'll see me at the fairgrounds. All right, if you can't make it out to any of the livestock shows, we'll be out there covering you for that. Next up for Bear River, they'll, so they go play Olympus on Friday, like tomorrow night. So a quick, very quick turnaround. Yes. There must be some kind of tournament going on there. That's going to be the third match for Olympus in that day, so mm. maybe Lady Bears catch them off guard, catch them tired. Bears coming in fresh, yeah. And then for Fremont, they host another Region 11 team. That's Mountain Crest next week for them. Hmm. Exciting. That should be a good matchup. And again, our next broadcast will be football tomorrow night as the Bears travel to Morgan. Bear River opened the season off right against the wind, just trying to keep that going on. So give us a follow on social media. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to get help to get notified, I guess, when we go live throughout the fall season. Again, have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow for some football. Final in this one, 3-0 to zero. here for Fremont. You've been watching your local home for the most fall sports coverage of Bear River High School sports right here on Bear River Live.